All right, welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Quick little video here and the topic is going to kind of be uh, connectors. So power cords and power connectors, specifically the XT90 and the uh, dreaded six pin. So <laughs> a couple, uh, it's been, geez, I don't even know how many months um, since I had come out with a video that was showing how I was this is when I was really doing a lot of those RFX kits, the RFX 95 HDs on radios. I was doing multiples of those like a week um, installs. And I started switching over to these XT90 connectors. And I also said that it's good for basically any high current radio. Um, it does take soldering. You know, if you're putting in yourself, you got to take out, unsolder the old plug, uh, you know, the two wires, and then you got to solder in, or uh, first you got to bolt in the new, the new connector and then solder your wires right so um the thing is uh you know i kind of focused in that video about the rfx kits but it's really actually nice for radios with the six pin plug so like this uh was one and i switched it out and it just as i was doing it it made me think because i saw the power increase after i picked up about 50 watts just from doing that. Now, I know some guys don't give a hoot about watts or anything like that. Um, I'm basically what you could call a horse a horsepower guy, okay? Uh, if I could switch out my power cord and gain 50 watts, I'm gonna do it, it's just me, okay? Um, I probably run stuff too hard, especially if it's my own stuff. Uh, I'll be the first to admit it. <laughs> I, I don't really, um, I know a lot of guys like loafing stuff along and taking these and prolonging the life. I'm kind of like, you know what, let's have fun with it type. <laughs> um, so anyways, what's what's nice is taking a radio like this, you get rid, it's kind of, and, and you do two things. Um, you, you get rid of a, a kind of a crappy design with this. And then in the other thing is you actually pick up about 50 watts. So. Every radio is going to be different, of course. I'm not even going to show the wattage because every everybody's bench, everybody's meter is going to show something different. So there's no use me even showing what I'm getting out of it here because it's just we know we know what rabbit hole that ends up going down, right? So, um, anyways, now the other thing you could do is you could run like these XT90s right into Andersons, make little adapters, stuff like this. I do I do adapters like that for myself. Um, not not really something I sell, but this, if I'm, you know, depending on the situation or what I'm trying to do or test or whatever, I'll do stuff like this. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to touch on, if you guys um, noticed, I've been talking about my new power supply that's going to be coming out. Uh, I'm in the middle of designing it now. I'm getting some help with it because I'm not, I'm not, a. it's going to be a 3D printed case. I'm not like a uh, 3D print guru guy. Okay. I don't, can't just sit at the computer and, and do design stuff all day so i'm having somebody help me out with that part um and then we're kind of you know going through some some uh design drafts and stuff like that but one of the things i did add on to that is an xt90 connector so keep that in mind if you are um ordering any radios you know soon or you're thinking about doing any kind of power cord upgrades where you were thinking about doing the uh the eight gauge to six like the adapter type thing where it bottlenecks down um they do help but it always of course is gonna be better to run straight straight eight gauge opposed to you know cutting it down right at the connector um and so uh yeah so the new power supply will have one of these so what you could do is you could have a cord made with um the ends are going to be exactly the same you'd have this on the one end to go into the radio and then you'd have another end like this on the other end of the cord where you would normally have like your eye, uh, ring terminals and you would it just plug it into the uh, panel mount. And then say you were done running that radio for the day or testing that, you could just unplug it, take that cord, wrap it up, get it out of the way, stuff like that. So um, yeah, just, and uh, I also put a post out there guys, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to touch on that quick um, about picking up some power and stuff easily with switching out connectors and power cords. But um, yeah, it's nothing new. And the other thing is, um, I did put a post up. If you guys could do me a favor, go ahead and vote on that. Let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to get your guys' opinions on this new this new design because um, it's for you guys. That's why I'm doing it. So uh, 
yeah, let me know your thoughts. And if and if the two options, I have two options listed there. Those are those are what I had it narrowed down to. If there's something you think is even better, uh, go ahead and suggest it. Leave a comment. So, all right, guys, have a good one. Just want to touch on these uh, power cords and connectors, and still, you know, kind of refresh everybody on these XT90s. They're great. Um, I think I got a couple, couple other uh, shops or guys or whatever, um, you know, starting to use them now. They're they're getting a little bit more popular. So, take care, and we'll catch you in the next one. Radio Garage, we're off the key.